Hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here, welcome you back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! <laughs> In our last episode, we actually did fight, um, Azala, I think his name was. The T-Rex Muscle Builder, not the T-Rex, but the Triceratops uh, Muscle Builder. So now that we have our gate key back, it's time to go back to, uh, what's-his-face? Uh, Melchior to get the, uh, Massa Moon repaired. Yes, indeed. So, uh, guys, I'll meet you there. Let the meat cake. Alright, guys, here we are back at Melchior's hut. So, let's go on inside and see what we can do, man. Da -da -da. Hey, Melchior. <laughs> you found some dreamstone. Then I'll repair the Massa Moon. How on earth did you get the Massa Moon? And the dreamstone, too. No, don't tell me. I don't think my heart could take it. It'll take a while to fix this. But yeah, anyway, I shall help also. <laughs> Anywho, guys, um, just this morning, in fact, I posted a uh, video on f about 14 where I discovered... So well, not, it wasn't really me that discovered it, it was Neon Demon, but, you know, he showed me where it was, and I went out to, you know, check it out. And I recorded some footage of the cheaters, so, yay! I reported them to SE and whatnot, so that's always fun. To repair the Masamune, we must process the Dreamstone and activate the sword. You work on the Dreamstone, and I'll work on the sword. Understood. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that that's something to look at if you're interested in that. Also, too, last week I finally posted episode 10 of To the Moon, um, which was actually a re-record because Hitbox decided to derp on me. And, dis and delete the last 40 minutes of the last, uh, of the stream. So that really sucked. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say, really. I mean, we're playing freaking Chrono Trigger, and we're waiting, well, waiting now. We're watching these guys play, not play, uh, fix a sword. Whoosh. I'm blinded. Uh. What you got for me? <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> da -da -ching. Take a good look. This is the Massa Moon. Awesome! What a weapon! Well, I think that's everything. Okay, Chrono, let's take... <laughs> God dang it. I keep forgetting that's what I named him. Ah! <laughs> Would you like to buy something? No. Alright, guys. Meet you back at Frog's Hut. Or Greg, in this case. Anyway, whoosh. Not the Elder's house, you numb nuts. Guess who's back, back, back. Greg is back. Hey, there, hey. Tis thee again. What? This sword. Tis the Massa Moon. I must ponder this turn of events. Rem remaineth here the night. <laughs> yes, that's right. Frog doesn't know we're time travelers yet. Although from our strange garb, you'd think he would be. Cyrus, are you leaving? Yes, it's time we took back the medal from the Frog King. And I'd like to see that mythical sword for myself. But Cyrus, the kingdom needs you. And Lean and I need you. You must return to us. Hey, as long as there is life in these bones, I shall return, my liege, by your leave. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Sir Cyrus! We, the Knights of the Square Table, wish you a safe journey. Listen well, my friends. I now entrust the safety of the kingdom to you. Oh boy. Hey, it's Glenn. Pardon the delay. Shall we be off? Oh boy. Glenn, you come back too! Be of sound health, your majesty. Oh my lord. Ah, sometimes I need to figure out how to do things better. <laughs> so, you want the bag of courage? 
Dear Knight of the Kingdom, well, come and take it if you can. Rawr. Prepare yourself, Polywog, and guard! Nirvana strike! Gah! How dare you pick on a helpless amphibian! Filthy metal, I won't forget this. <laughs> In our Nirvana attack. Attack! Mischief. Ah! Beware, Glenn! Cyrus, the sword! The Masamoon! Oh god. Hey, Magus. Or Magus. Magus. Ah, Magus, as I do. Yeah! <laughs> That's the best you can do! <laughs> Without your sword, you're nothing! Ah, you haven't beaten me yet! S Cyrus. Oh god. Glenn, escape while I keep them at bay. But, but. If you stay, they'll get us both. Go on, Glenn! <laughs> you better worry more about yourself, Cyrus. Come on, Glenn, go! Ah! Oh, boy. C Cyrus! Run, Glenn. The Queen. Take care of Lean. Cyrus! Cyrus! <laughs> Uh, what's the matter? Aren't you going to try your luck? Uh. <laughs> Cat got your tongue, kid. How about it, Mantis? Can't you give him a more fitting form? Alright, why not? There's always time for a little fun. Huh? Uh. Uh. Ah! <laughs> you spineless wimp. <laughs> okay then. Gotta love dialogue, eh? Ten years have passed. I've changed so much. Alas, poor Cyrus. <laughs> I really wish I knew what to say sometimes. Awaketh Chrono! Huh. Let's see. Though we may fail, let us go to Magus's lair. Thou knowest his power. Ching. We must do it to save our future. Yay! We won't be beaten by a bad guy! <laughs> and it forces Frog into our party. Understandably so, though. So we're going with this team right here, you know. Yeah, we got Greg in our party. Rush through the gates of Hades. Anyways, now we just need to head over to the Denodoro Mountains right here. Or, I mean, the Magic Cave. Rawr! I'm only human, leave me alone. <laughs> oh man. Epic scene of badassery incoming! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> hey, you! <clears throat> hey, you! It's Cyrus, run for your lives! You can stop spinning now, little kid. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus! <laughs> Lynn, there's times when people simply have to grit their teeth. But it hurts when I get hit. They... <laughs> You're a marshmallow, Marla. You're a marshmallow, Glenn. Oh man, don't you just love emotional scenes? I know I do. Hey Glenn, I've been thinking about becoming a knight. <laughs> I knew you were going to enlist. You'll make a great warrior. I'm so bad at voicing. I can't think of friggin' accents, and I never can stay consistent. Ah! I don't think I'd make the cut. But why? 
You're better with a sword than I am. I don't know. I think I'd really lose it if I had to hurt someone. <laughs> oh man, a lot of dialogue here. It's ridiculous. Ah! No! Oh! It's a medal. Swoosh. Blurp, blurp, blurp. Bling, bling, bling. <laughs> Are you dead? Surely not. Poke, poke. Poke it with a stick. <laughs> the medal. The hero's medal. <laughs> Handeth over the massive moon. Uh, Chrono, that's not what we call handing it over. That's called sticking it in the ground. <laughs> My name is Blin, Cyrus's hopes and dreams, and now the Massa Moon. Forthwith I shall slay Magus and restore honor. <laughs> That's one of the most badass scenes in the game, I swear. <laughs> now we'll get to see it in the 8 bit or 16 bit version, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, it's cool, man. I really need to practice stuff. I don't know. Arrah. Shook. <laughs> yeah. And I think it automatically equip equops? Equops! Equips the frog with the massa moon. I'm almost positive it does. Never has to check. Yep. Massa moon, baby. Alright, let's go. And battle right away. Isn't that lovely? Ouch. Ouch. God dang it. Oh, a nice crit from Chrono. The hero of our tale. Oh, a nice crit from Frog. That did nothing. And a nice crit from Meryl. That also did nothing. Damn. Ouch! Although, if I'm not mistaken, I think these rats have high physical def uh, high physical defense, but no real magic defense. That's what I'm thinking. Jeez, stop that! Wait. Oh yeah, that's right, I can't actually take... Wait, yeah, I can! I can totally take uh, Frog to see, um, watch his face now. To get him magic, yeah. I should probably do that. Two. 
Ow. So I'll meet you guys back at the end of time. Oh. Be that magic you use? I have thought only magicians wield it now. Travel to the end of time, and you too may learn to use magic. I just said that. Anyway, pizza sauce on Friday night's face too. All right, guys, here we are back. Let's get Frog some magic. What a weird fellow, being a frog. Let's give him water. Ipso facto minimo magico. Greg Lou tries to use magic as he poses behind the door there. So, fortified with magic, want to try it out? Alright! Let's get our ass kicked. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Boom, point, point, point! I just think it's amusing that Frog and Meryl get a, uh, get a dual tech called Ice Water. It's kind of funny, actually. It's a boink. Oh, it'd be nice if I could win here. Man. He's got like a thousand health, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's probably Chrono. Do oh, no, he survived. How about that? <laughs> Licky Frog. Oh gosh. Aura World, please. Let's use water. Yeah. We're cool. Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna kick his butt though, aren't we? Because we've got to go to the pizza parlor on the Friday night. Man. Chink! Oh, I missed. That sucked. <laughs> Gotta keep people alive. But hey, we're actually standing a decent chance against them, it seems. Yes. Zap. Yeah, we did it. There's ice water, sword stream. Awesome. Yeah, that was most embarrassing. Ha! Huh. Don't make a habit of this. Here, this is for you. You get one magic tab and five ethers. I am the master of war. Sometimes I scare myself. You guys are too much. Bring newcomers to meet me. Hey, yeah. Let us heal. Alright guys, I'll meet you guys back at the magic caves. And we're back. I like how this bat follows me the entire time, just so you know. More bats, more rats. Well, that was easy. Whoa! That's a lot of those things! Oh, jeez. Ah! Uh. Yay! That was a lot of tech points, too. More of you? That was two battles back-to-back. -back. <laughs> A note written in blood. The juggler in Magus's castle strengthened his guard when attacked. Beware. That is very sound advice. And we will soon see why. Alright, everyone. I believe this is going to be a good place to start, because in the next episode, we have Magus's Castle to take care of. In the meantime, guys, I do hope you've been enjoying this series so far. And as always, subscribe to my channel up top whenever you want to see when my new videos go out. And if you have a comment, make sure you leave it down in the comment section down below, guys. Till then, White Mage Trinia, signing off. Have yourselves a wonderful day, guys, and game on.